Hey guys, take a minute to check out our sponsor, Modular Driven Technologies. All the best chassis and accessories on the market. Make sure and give them some love over at mdttac.com. Guys, today what I have for you is the Zeus Action from Terminus. I've got a six Creedmoor barrel spun on here from Hunt's Long Range. You can check him out. Awesome gunsmith here in Missouri. Put this guy on here for me. Now, this is the switch barrel. Today my plan is just to kind of run it for you a little bit. You'll see a lot of B-roll this time with some voiceover from back in my shop, kind of going over some of the features of the action. But I wanted to intro it here since I got good light and a decent day and a light wind. I thought this is going to be good. I'll just go ahead and I'll run through some of the things. Um, so far, guys, I just have to say I am loving this action. I've had it for probably four months now. Um, I have been running the 6 Creed uh, Hornady factory ammo through it, a little bit of Burger factory ammo through it, and then my hand loads, which are loaded on Lapua brass, uh, H4350, and I'm running the, the 108 uh, Hornady bullets in them. So the MSRP from their website is $1,425. Um, it seems really great guys, but I'm just going to break down what the exact description is from their website and uh, and let you guys decide. I'll give my opinion throughout the video, but for right now I just want to focus on the description as it's written uh, on their website. So, um, has a precision 3 lug receiver with 60 degree bolt. Receiver is made of pre-hardened 416 stainless steel. Receiver has an integral 0.33 I'm sorry, 0 0.300 inch recoil lug and 20 MOA Picatinny rail. The raceways are uh, EDM machined for exacting tolerances. Three lug, 0.725 inch diameter fluted bolt machined from one piece, pre-hardened, 4340 chrome molly. The receiver and the bolt are both DLC treated. Has a proprietary bolt knob. Comes standard with quick change barrel feature. Receiver headspace tolerance and timed threads allow pre-fit barrels to be installed by the customer. Unique threaded trigger pins replace outdated hammered-in style pins, patent pending. Accepts Remington style triggers, mini M16 extractor, improved cantilever style bolt stop provides strength and does not require stock modification. 0 0.062 inch diameter firing pin, roller tipped cocking piece for smooth cocking operation designed to accept AI and AW style magazines Remington 700 footprint allows interface with standard stocks and chassis systems Zeus is only available in short action available in 223, 308 and mag bolt the weight is 37.76 ounces I'm going to show you guys real quick how easy it is to um, to disassemble the bolt for, for field stripping or cleaning or whatever you got to do for repairing. So basically you just want to take the, uh, the bolt body and you're going to rotate the rear uh, by about a quarter turn clockwise and it's going to pop loose like that. Then you can just pull it out. There's a couple little tabs here and here that line up with some, um, some tabs in here and you just got to make sure that those go right back in the same hole. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press in and turn it um, counterclockwise, then about a quarter turn to lock it back into place. So depress and turn, and we're put back together. All right, guys, one thing I did want to point out is the difference in size of the bolt bodies. So many Remington 700 style um, uh, bolt bodies measure 0 0.750 as far as the, the size. And so if we can get this down in here, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but that's 7 point, or 0 0.750 exactly on the bolt body there uh, on that one. And then if we measure the terminus, there it is, 0.725 exactly um, on, the, uh, on the terminus. And so the claim is that the slightly smaller bolt size um, helps alleviate feeding issues with six millimeter type cartridge, like BR type cartridges. So Dasher and BR and those sorts of things are supposed to feed better. Um, now I have only been running six Creedmoor through my Terminus so far. Um, a video that I'm going to do sometime soon, I'm going to put the six GT barrel, uh, onto my, my Terminus action. 
instead of the 6 Creedmoor and see how the, the 6 GT feeds because, you know, 6 GT is shorter, kind of like the Dasher, but a tiny bit longer. Part of the deal with the GT and, and being a little bit longer and everything and the case being a little bit different shape is it's supposed to feed better. So I'm going to test that with my with my Terminus sometime soon in a completely separate video and see how that feeds. But I've had no issues with the 6 Creedmoor. I mean, I've probably put uh, close to 500 rounds on the Terminus action now with the 6 Creed barrel from Hunt's Long Range, and I have had zero feeding issues whatsoever, um, zero malfunctions of any kind. Uh, so um, maybe they've, uh, you know, maybe Terminus has has solved uh, that issue for good. I hope so. That would be uh, that'd be nice. Hey guys, I'm gonna do my best to, to show this here. I understand through the camera you may not be able to see it all that well, but one of the nice things about the Terminus action um, <clears throat> that Joel Russo changed uh, between when he was designing this bolt uh, for the Curtis versus designing it for the Terminus, uh, you know, they, they're almost identical, but there are some nice things that I consider improvements um, over and above, and, and here's, here's a couple of the differences. And I don't know if you can see them on the camera or not, I'm gonna try to point them out. But just certain things like, um, like some of these angles, like the angles on the edge of the, of the lugs, on all three of the lugs on the Curtis is, um, they're completely, flat with kind of sh with kind of sharp edges but here on the sides I can't I don't know if you guys can even see this I, I apologize I'm doing my best here guys but kind of right along this edge here when you compare the two um, the terminus is nice and rounded everything is rounded and smoothed um, you know just a little more so than the Curtis and I think that's why the Terminus feels uh, a little smoother uh, when it comes to that 60 degree throw um, just the bolt lift after firing um, it, it just feels smooth and easy to lift um, not like the Curtis is necessarily um, hard to lift it's it's basically you know Joel Russo designed both of these it, it, to my knowledge and so it's it's not that far off I mean they, they both have this little roller right back here um, that that help you know when it comes to lifting and resetting uh, the bolt itself um, it, they both feel pretty smooth but they're just some nice smoothed rounded edges uh, with the terminus that the Curtis doesn't have and, and I think it provides a nice a nicer feel so that's really all I wanted to point out there so as I close out today, guys, just wanted to say, hey, I love this action. I've got no complaints with it. It's been running great for me. Joel Russo over there um, provides awesome customer service. The guy's just always available and seems humble to me. And so um, I'm liking that, just kind of a personal touch from him. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more videos with this action in it. You will see those coming up. I've got a six Creedmoor ammo comparison that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, you know, just through this barrel, again, from Hunt's Long Range, it's six Creedmoor, and I'm gonna be comparing about seven different factory ammos um, through this just for uh, consistency over the chronograph and those sorts of things. But it should be um, just revealing as to which ones are more consistent than others according to chronograph numbers. So that video is coming using this action and barrel combo. So um, obviously, MDT is a sponsor of Precision Rifle Network. Please make sure and give them some love. Check them out at mdttac.com. Stay tuned for more great content from Precision Rifle Network.